So in this video, we'll be doing a, an optimization problem. So the problem says, suppose you have 1,000 feet of fencing to make three side-by-side -side rectangular enclosures. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed? So to approach a problem like this, we'll look at the diagram. And first, let's label the diagram. We know we have 1,000 feet total fencing. And that will be broken into four widths and two lengths. So the overall area of this entire figure outlined here is it's just an area of a rectangle. So the overall area will actually just be length times width. But there are restrictions that come with this area. The restrictions are based upon the fact that you have four widths and two lengths to take care of while you're only allowed to use 1,000 feet of fencing. So combined, the 4W plus 2L has to equal 1,000. If you solve that equation for L, 2L equals 1,000 minus 4W, dividing by 2 on each side, L would equal 500 minus 2W. That allows us to take our area equation, which currently has three variables, A, L, and W, and turn it into an equation with two variables. To do that, we write area equals, well, whatever the length is, times the width. On the right-hand side, we see the length is 500 minus 2w. Substituting in gives us our area formula. Distributing the w, 500w minus 2w squared. We now have an area formula that we can use in our graphing calculator to end up finding the maximum area. Before we go to the calculator, however, we need to take one more step, which is to find the practical domain that is allowable within this problem. If you look, our area formula is a function of width. So we need to find what is the minimum and maximum width that we can use. Well, the minimum width would obviously be zero. You'd never have anything less than zero for your width. So we'll start with our domain. Uh, the W has to be greater than zero. Then we only have a thousand feet of fencing. So if all of the fencing was used to take care of the four widths, the absolute maximum that you could get for the width would be a thousand total feet of fencing divided by the four widths, which ends up giving us a domain of zero to 250. We will use that domain when we go and plug this into our calculator. So now we have an equation, area equals 500w minus 2w squared, and we have a domain of 0 to 250. Let's go to our calculator. In Y1, I typed in 500x minus 2x squared. So we're making a slight shift in the variables. In this case, I'm using Y1 instead of area, and I'm using x instead of the width. Now I'm going to use my window settings to take care of our domain. The x's stand for the width in this problem, so I will make my x minimum 0. The x maximum will be 250 based on our domain. Now the y values in this case stand for the area. The minimum area I could ever have is 0 because I'm not going to have negative areas. The maximum area, I'm not really sure yet. That's As a matter of fact, that's what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to assume that because I have 1,000 feet of fencing, the area is going to be pretty big. So I'm going to choose a number like maybe 10,000. And then I'm going to graph my function. It looks like this function goes out of the screen. My domain is good. It's from 0 to 250. But the maximum height looks to be way too low. So I'll go back to the window. And let's take another try with the y maximum. And in this case, instead of 100,000, I'm sorry, instead of 10,000, I'll try 50,000. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, it looks like that equation fits. So now I just use the second trace button to get to my calculate menu. The number four is the maximum value. I'm going to cursor over a little bit to the left of where I know the maximum is, just based visually on the graph. I hit enter to set my left boundary. I'm cursoring to the right, and I hit enter when I know I'm to the right of the maximum. And one more enter will get me to the calculator computing our maximum. 
124.99998, you can assume that to be 125. And it looks like the y value of 31,250 would give, our, give us our maximum area. So coming back over to our work here, it looks like at the width of 125, I will have a maximum area of 31,250 square feet. Now, if you wanted to calculate the length, you could as well. Simply plug in the widths. 4 times 125 is 500. And there's two lengths to get the other 500 feet of fencing. So each length would be 250 feet, although it was not asked for in this particular problem. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.